How's it going everyone? I'm Jake James Lugo and welcome to the channel. Now I've wanted to do a video like this for a number of years and I'm finally glad that everything is coming together rather nicely. Because it's Black History Month, I want to talk about my top five legendary African American game characters or black game characters, whatever have you. We're going to interchange between the terms here, so bear with me. And there's a point to me doing this video, which you'll come to understand as you continue to watch it. But without further ado, let's just dive right into this and start things off with number five. <laughs> Sergeant Avery Johnson. Okay, Sergeant Avery Johnson is a big highlight for black characters in the modern gaming era. Halo is one of those games that fundamentally changed the landscape of first person shooters. It gave us a new universe and story to follow, new ways to control our games, and so much more. One of the cooler things is how the characters of the Halo series are just as well designed and fleshed out as the world around them. Sergeant Johnson is the Master Chief's best friend and helps him lead the human resistance against the Covenant. He's a no-nonsense Marine that gets stuff done, even without the presence of the Master Chief. He shows up multiple times throughout the series and gets a pretty epic conclusion towards the end of Halo 3. He also shows up in the novels that spin off from the games, giving us a memorable and interesting character that impacts the Halo universe in a significant way. You hit Marine. N no, sir. Then listen up. Usually the good Lord works in mysterious ways, but not today. This here is 66 tons of straight up H.E. spewing divine intervention. If God is love, then you can call me Cupid. What about that scare? We all run the simulations. They're tough, but they ain't invincible. Funny enough, I was originally going to include Barrett from Final Fantasy VII on this list instead of Sergeant Johnson. I honestly had some trouble deciding between the two at first. But what ultimately made me go with him instead of Barrett was how cliche and obvious it would have been to include Barrett on here. I feel like as popular as Halo is with some people, not enough credit is given to Sergeant Avery Johnson when discussing great African American characters in gaming. Barrett seems like an obvious choice and no-brainer for some, but I also contribute that more to how popular of the game Final Fantasy VII is with people, rather than Barrett himself. Both are still legendary characters in their own right, but for this list, I'm going with Sergeant Avery Johnson. If you haven't played Halo yet, make sure you do and you'll see exactly why I think he's such a great character. Press F in the comments to show your respect to the Sergeant. Doc Lewis. Now here's a fun pick that nobody would really choose for a list like this. You gotta love the classics, especially when they're as fun and as interesting as Doc Lewis from the Punch-Out series. He's the trainer of Little Mac and helps him go from chump to champ through hard work, determination, more hard work, positive affirmations, a little bit of life advice, and even more hard work. I don't really see Doc Lewis as a stereotype or bad caricature of African Americans like some might be led to believe but instead he's a hyper-exaggerated version of Mickey from the Rocky series. Only a lot more fun and cheesy, rather than gritty and depressing. Taste the victory from training, Mac, not from chocolate. <laughs> this chocolicious. Doc Lewis appears in both versions of Punch-Out! on the NES, as well as the sequels and cameos of the series and other Nintendo games. That famous scene of Little Mac running as Doc rides a bicycle is an image that has endured throughout the years and is the stuff gaming legends are made of. I love seeing Doc Lewis in the Super Smash Bros. trailers, as well as the lighthearted appearances in the reboot of Punch-Out! on the Wii. The Doc is always giving you helpful advice and making sure that you stay pumped up for the next bout, even if it could be a little bit useless at times. Now listen up, son. I'm gonna tell you a secret. I love chocolate bars. It's also a little funny that Doc Lewis has an obsession with chocolate, which he gives to Little Mac to help him heal up in between rounds. I know a lot of people wouldn't think of Doc Lewis at first, but he definitely deserves to be on any list like this for being one of the older African American game characters from the golden age of Nintendo. We'll always remember to dance like a fly and bite like a mosquito, just like the Doc told us. Alex Vance Half-Life 2 is one of the most legendary first-person shooters of all time. It's right up there in the same conversation with the likes of Doom, Castle Wolfenstein, Goldeneye, Halo, and Call of Duty 4. There's more, but you get the idea. While the gameplay and physics of Half-Life 2 are what make it an incredible experience for most people, the story is also a huge part of its success and status over the years. A big part of this was the inclusion of Alex Vance, a hacker who was the daughter of two doctors that died during the Black Mesa incident. Alex shows up during Half-Life 2 to accompany and help out Gordon Freeman throughout his journey in the game, as well as all of the extra episodes. She gives Gordon the gravity gun during the story, which is very important to the game. She also has an AI companion named Dog that sticks with her wherever she goes. It's been protecting her since she was a little girl. 
I won't get into too much of the story about Half-Life 2 because it's incredibly good and you should play it, but Alex is a very big part of everything that goes on and has a very intricate family history with Black Mesa. I chose her for this list because not only is she part of one of the biggest FPS games of all time and beloved by many gamers, but she's also one of the few biracial characters that stand out in video games. A fun fact is that the voice actress for Alex, Merle Dandridge, shares a similar biracial heritage with the character. Since she's been in Half-Life 2, Alex has been incredibly popular over the years and even got a few nods in other games not made by Valve. There's a fun easter egg in Overwatch that refers to Alex over the announcements, calling her the Vance Subprime. That's a pretty cool nod for anyone that loves PC games. With being such an important part of the legacy of first-person shooters and gaming as a whole, Alex Vance is a necessity here. She's definitely one of the most important female African-American or biracial characters in gaming. And by the way, Valve, where the heck is Half-Life 3? It's been years! Stop teasing us! Come on, I'm just saying! Anyway, here's a side note. While I was making this list, another character that I considered having was Fortune from Metal Gear Solid 2. While she would have been a great pick to have on this list, she couldn't compete with Alex in terms of legacy. I love Metal Gear Solid 2, but in this context, Half-Life 2 is just a bigger game and Alex is just a better choice. I'll definitely get to the Metal Gear Solid series one day, but for now, Alex Vance takes this spot without question. So you probably realized by now that what I did with the thumbnail was a big red herring. Because seriously, if I just showed you guys what my picks were in the thumbnail, a good chunk of you probably wouldn't watch it, right? But also, it's to make a point on top of the one that I'm making with this video. I really believe that if you care about the discussion of video games and just want to contribute to the greater conversation about games as a medium, then no subject or no topic should be off limits to you. I mean, look at me. Just because I don't look a certain way doesn't mean I don't have something insightful, unique, and interesting to bring to a topic like African American characters in video games, especially Especially since I play so many games already. I really believe that if you have a good heart and a good mind and you're coming at things from a good place, you should be able to contribute to any sort of discussion about gaming or any other medium out there, regardless of race, regardless of gender, orientation, origin, or anything of the sort. But regardless though, let's get back to the list because there's two more picks to actually discuss and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to be very surprised at the ones I included on here. <laughs> Okay, this is an epic pick. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. The Soul Calibur games are all about transcending history and bringing new meaning to the term epic, in more ways than one. Between its anime-like style and incredible music and visuals, you'd be crazy not to think so. From all of that, we get a character like Zaslamel, an original fighter that brings a unique fighting style and intimidating presence to the series. I remember first seeing this guy in Soul Calibur 3 and thinking to myself, wow, this dude is a beast. He even got a spot right in the front of the box art and was probably one of the big reasons people picked up Soul Calibur 3 on PlayStation 2. <laughs> Zasa Lamel is a being that gets reincarnated again and again throughout the ages, with his fate being tied to that of Soul Calibur and Soul Edge. It's a kind of immortality that he craves to be released from, so he pursues both swords throughout time. Crazy story aside, Zasalamel has some pretty powerful attacks, including the ability to control time in later games. His look, his fighting style, his backstory, and everything else about him just screams epic and really showcases some of the best aspects of original character design for the Soul Calibur games. Seeing that Scythe alone could give anybody chills. But for whatever reason, I don't see a lot of people discuss him as much as other black characters in gaming. I get that some people would rather bring up other fighting game characters like DJ or Balrog from the Street Fighter series, Bruce from Tekken, or even Zack from the Dead or Alive games. But honestly, none of them are as good as this guy. Those I feel like are shallow and easy choices for a list like this that aren't as good. Maybe it's the disdain for the Soul Calibur series or a lack of knowledge about Zaslamel, but he really is a cool character. Zaslamel is definitely one of the more interesting, unique, and downright intimidating black characters in fighting games, and one that could definitely destroy you with ease. I shall continue with my quest until I find what I seek. Clementine. Okay, now hold on and hear me out for a second. I really think that Clementine is a fantastic modern black game character. She's really the most important part of the Walking Dead Telltale games. The reason why I put her on this list instead of Lee Everett from the first season is because we get to spend more time with Clementine throughout the series. We see her grow and constantly deal with the horrors of the undead in this universe. This goes on from the first season to the fourth and final season of the series, and all of it is very good. There's a lot of crazy things that occur in this game that I will not spoil. Trust me, you really want to go into this series blind and see exactly what happens. 
But as far as Clementine is concerned, she's another one of those really well thought out and written game characters that happens to be African American. Her race isn't really the crux or the foundation of her character, but rather her personality and reaction to the terrifying events around her. She witnesses a lot of horrible things and near impossible choices that people around her have to make, while trying to survive the growing threat of the undead. And eventually, she has to make those same big decisions herself. And I know a lot of people will point out to Michonne as another black character that might be a better pick for this list, but I argue that she originated from the comics for The Walking Dead and became more important in other media. Clementine, on the other hand, was an original creation done by Telltale. So for me, that makes her the better video game character. Either way, you're getting some great writing and great development from everyone in these stories. It's all about survival and getting ahead, rather than any sort of common archetypes that we see from other African American characters in gaming. There's definitely a time and place for stuff like that, but it doesn't always make for interesting and memorable characters, let alone game characters of color. This is why I really like what we see from Clementine in these games, and why I really feel everyone loved playing Telltale's The Walking Dead. As others have put it, she's the emotional centerpiece of the series and made us care about what happened to her in this cruel and unforgiving world. But track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? So there you go, guys. Those are five legendary African-American game characters or black game characters that I wanted to run down for you all, again, in celebration of Black History Month. I know there is a bunch of other characters out there, a ton that are very popular, very, very iconic for one reason or another, but this is a small list compared to the sea of characters that are out there. And again, this is just my list and just some of my picks for ones that I wanted to at least talk about with all of you guys. I know some bunch of people would have a bunch of different lists and are probably going to complain in the comments of like, oh, you didn't include this character, you didn't include this character. But one of the big things I wanted to do with this list was to include African-American characters in games that didn't really fit a stereotype, didn't really fit an archetype or anything of the sort that's like something that we see all the time. I wanted to talk about characters that were just great, legendary, iconic, slash phenomenal characters that people should know more about if they didn't already. Again, Again, this is just my list and my opinions about these characters, but I'm curious to see what you guys think about it down below in the comments section. Tell me, what are some of your favorite African American characters in games, black characters in games, you know, supporting characters, some of your favorite titles with the African American lead, any of that stuff that, again, that you guys want to talk about, put it down below in the comments section. I'll be in the comments chatting it up with you guys, but let's get a good discussion going again in celebration of Black History Month. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Maybe I'll do another top five or another vlog style video kind of like this on another subject down the line maybe something interesting i could come up with but let me know all your guys opinions down below in the comment section hey everyone thank you so much for watching this video i really worked hard on it and wanted to make sure that everybody got something thoughtful or interesting from watching as always make sure you leave me a comment down below in the comment section don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one hopefully you guys enjoy all my content that i've been posting up here on the channel we're trying to aim for 10k this year let's try to see if we could smash that goal don't forget to check out some of these videos i'm going to put here on the side for you all i will talk to all of you again very soon peace out and stay epic everybody